Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sesso here, bringing us a video here today, and bringing us a brand new video of redesigning your designs, episode I think 11, like 1-1, one, one. like that's a pretty solid number I think. So basically, I have two things I'm doing today today's video, I'm doing like a Lando Norris Formula 1 kind of design, and then I think the second one, why am I blanking out for a second? It's a scoreboard. It's a scoreboard, an optic gaming scoreboard. That was just like a really fun little esports concept that I took some of the esports concept and I just like made it a little more just cooler and or redesigned it. Yep, sure. So with that being said, though, today's video is sponsored by Invato Elements. If you guys do not have any idea what Invato Elements is, it's basically a hub of literally like anything you can think of personally. All the way to like 3D assets, like graphical, like yeah, yeah, stock images, like tears, grunge, whatever you can possibly think of, they probably have it. They also even have Photoshop plugins and like just plugins for in general, like Adobe products. I'm just, they were free at one point, probably like two years ago. They're no longer free. They're probably way, way, way more like, how do you say, developed. So I'd really recommend you guys to check those out, please. I don't know about you, but like you can just download the stuff and then just, you can, you can cancel it, re you can do it when you want to do it. Am I allowed to say that? I think I am, but that's a good idea. I'm just saying. It's like a win-win, I think, in my opinion, but you'll definitely come back, so I'm just going to say that. Um, with that being said, though, that is the, uh, not the end of the video. This is the beginning of the video. I hope you guys do enjoy it, and uh, yeah, just enjoy it. I love you guys so much. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the first redesigned product, which is this Lando Norris poster designed by Braden at GFX. Um, it's actually looking pretty dope. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this is a really cool concept. I love the four kind of like, you know, collective pieces in the middle. I love the sort of like, you know, British flag in the background. You got the Lando Norris text looking all cool, the uh, cool looking car too. Everything looks pretty dope. Um, I'm just gonna here to spice things up a little bit with like a little bit of like what they're doing here, a little bit of inspiration. So yeah, let's just see. I have my assets right around here, right? I'm gonna use this photo here for that foreground um, kind of like, you know, shot where he's like sitting right where he's sitting behind the car. And I do have some grunge tears here because I feel like I wanna go with a little bit of a grunge theme um, because I'm just feeling grungy. So that's the whole idea. And orange and blue make for, I think, a really good grunge theme. So this is the idea. That's the situation. Let's go ahead and run this down and get this thing going, okay? Now, first thing is first, we're gonna drag in our assets here and make sure we're looking a-okay, right? We got the car here. Then we have our boy, Orlando Norris photo here. I'm gonna drop this right below, right? I'm gonna have this guy be in the back just like this. And I'm gonna make sure I go ahead and cut him out real quick. So I'm just gonna like think out loud for you guys and kind of like see where we can go with this. But first thing is first though, um, I'm gonna also go ahead and make sure I give myself some color corrections and give myself a nice little hard style vibe by just going into filter, camera raw filter and adding in that clarity, that texture, making it look really, really aggressive and dope. And I think something like this is actually a pretty good look, right? You got the hair looking really nice, his eyes and like, you know, his eyes are popping out, the actual fabrics of his actual t-shirt or sweater is popping out. That looks pretty good there. Same thing with this guy right here. I'm gonna make sure I go ahead and go over here and uh, we're gonna do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna do some filter and same exact thing literally. But for this one, however, we're gonna drop this or excuse me, up this shadows like quite a lot, up the highlights a little bit or lower the highlights a little bit, up the contrast a little bit, clarity is looking good, texture is looking literally all the way up. What's gonna be the main color for the background in this instance, right? Because if I do like this and like, oh, okay, hold on. Whoa. I'm thinking, right, this is my first pass, right? This is the first like little thing that I did that worked, but what is something I can do to make this more intentional? I have no idea whatsoever, but I'm just gonna play with it and see if like I can find like a different way to, to go about this. All right, and I think something like this is actually a pretty good look, right? I just added this one here, which is basically like the same tear effect. However, the more like kind of like circular one, I think that looks pretty good. Having that would be like covers the actual bottom of this is actually a pretty good look. So now I think though, I need to figure out how I'm gonna add in that shadow. Whatever the shadow looked like over here, if I add back in this mask and disable it for a second, right? The shadow's kind of like adding the, the same kind of curvature. Obviously, I don't really know how to like take the shadow off of like the picture itself. I know there's a way, but do I remember that way? No, so I'm gonna do it like this a little Gaussian blur, and then we just take the opacity or the, even the, the fill and lower down the fill a little bit. And now I'm gonna say to myself, okay, we got a look, we got a feeling, this can, this, I don't need this anymore here, but I like where we're at, where we're going, okay? Very simple stuff so far. So what we're gonna do now is figure out where the color's gonna actually be placed. All right, I think this is actually gonna end up working here. So I made the background, in this case, orange, and this little stripe right here going blue, given the fact that his car is like blue and orange, I'm guessing those are the colors of like the McLaren, like his like little sponsor thing, and I have this part be white, that way at least the shadow looks more realistic or looks cool. We can always change that to like a grayish tone or whatever, we wanna play with that a little bit, but I think now at this point, I'm gonna be thinking about how I'm gonna actually end up texturizing this, right? I actually ended up finding this little cool background texture that I use 
back in the past i can see if i just put it up right here right and it's a really really pretty texture and definitely make the design itself feel a little bit more crisp a little more fun a little more cool right than just this usual normal tear paper i think this right here is the look is the style that i'm going for now here's my first thought right put in a little lando over here like lando no that's his first name right so let's, let's do norris right all right you can never go wrong with stretch sands what am i saying like so look at this right i was doing like this i was like okay looks pretty cool what if i were to make a duplicate though just like this okay or with me here i think that right there adds a really good midsection i'm like actually pretty excited for so i want to say this is a pretty good look i'm going to leave this as is for now and start working on like texturizing with little stuff so what i mean by that is like type text right so i'm going to put like his name of course is lando right the norris right so it's double r's okay Let's go ahead and say big Lando, or excuse me, big Norris. And then I'll do like, you know, smaller Lando. I think that's a pretty sexy kind of spot. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very meticulous spot. I'm gonna say Lando though, okay. This font should be a little bit different. Do I actually go with the classic art Ariel? I think I might go with the classic Ariel here. That looks, for some reason, Ariel's just like looking real sexy up there. I ain't gonna lie, so I'm gonna say like, that's right there. His number is apparently four. I don't know if it's like per race or per like, it's forever four, but I'm gonna say four. Right, I'm a nice little four here, make a nice big four, right? Like this. I'm even gonna go ahead and just take this and make it a little more grungy just by like literally taking it, splitting it down the middle because we literally can. That makes it feel a little more racery, right? I think that's a really good, good spot for that right there. Um, now for the rest of the part, I have no idea where I'm going for this, but I'm also still not in like full love with like the black Norse in the background here. You know, it looks really cool. There is something wrong with the actual background itself. There actually is no sort of like words or like texture in there. So I'm not really sure if I want to add like a random Norse, like let's just say like right here. So I'm like this maybe where it's just kind of like land and repeat in the background here, maybe make it white to kind of like go with a different style approach or blue. Oh, okay. This is difficult. Oh, what if it was a number four actually? Let's go with like this. Let's make it pretty big. Like I need four that kind of shows the four down here too, right? And it's like space. So I'm gonna try to find like an empty space one. To be honest, I'm actually not even concerned with the four being the actual thing in the background. I'm low key enjoying the space of like this orange being broken up with this kind of like black space here. But let's just see if I, oh, oh, I have an idea. Okay. What if I were to go over here to Envelo Elements for a second and type in like Formula One wheel, okay? Okay, that's not gonna work. Formula One wheel. Okay, I guess typing it out definitely does help. So Formula One, I got a wheel right here. All right, I'm gonna take my view 3D render for a second. And I'm gonna say to myself, what if it wasn't just like a black four in the background, but like a wheel spinning and like a really just like, I guess just a cool Formula One wheel, right? I can rotate it with any kind of like way I want. Maybe like something like this. I'll just, do, I'll just download multiple angles. I'll give that angle a shot. I'll also give like an angle like this. I think a shot too in this case. So now I have this wheel now. It looks actually really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna take this. All right, shout out Envato Elements. We love you, appreciate that. I'm gonna go over here and send myself, boom, move this down here and like this. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. This actually might work. So I'm gonna take this one over here for a second too. Put this one down here, right? I'm not gonna lie, this different angle tire thing is might, might be exactly what I need to fill this space, not gonna lie. But I think I also want one more angle, by the way, with that wheel. All right, I'm definitely liking how this is looking. There's just this one thing I think is missing. I'm not really sure what that thing is. I don't know if it's like shadows work to kind of like get rid of this kind of like on the background here. What if I add in like tracks, like PNG, like those like like tire tracks, tire marks? Like this word right here, if we were to take this, can I'll make this a little bit more bigger or stretch it out some this way. Now, although I just think this kind of looks a little bit cool, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That's pretty dumb. I think that might be a little bit too dumb. Okay, maybe not that. I have been moving forward, however, without even trying out the fact that what if I made homie over here, like black and white, like with a, like a nice, real good black and white kind of like gradient. I'm not really too positive on it, but I'm not also like gonna get up on it right now. I think a little more texture in this sense, if we're gonna go with this kind of like idea. I mean, it does look kind of cool. Like, I don't know. I just don't know right now. Like, I think the biggest problem for me right now is the, the blue. Like the blue is giving me like a lot of anxiety because I don't know what to do with it besides that being the only thing that's blue. And it's just not making me feel really nice about myself, I think, right now. It's a little bit too, it's not it. I think I might have to just say to myself, get rid of the blue, keep it white, something like this tone right here. And immediately, right, immediately I feel like we got this really good cohesiveness all of a sudden where I feel like it looks 10 times better. And is that an issue that I'm gonna care about right now? I don't think so. I think, however, maybe we add the blue like right in this little, little corner right here for a second. Okay, wait, or now is like literally everything white. Oh no. 
Um, okay, is that was the color like my issue the entire time? Was I feeling it to be white the entire time? Right? Because like now we can have these little simple little yellow kind of you know tie-ins together with the wheels on the actual graphic itself, making these like these mustardy yellows. And now I feel like this four right here can be a little more thicker and play with the actual text itself, right? Since everything else is kind of play with each other in that sense. Okay. Um, right, so I'm gonna think that's a pretty good idea there. Or even like in this corner right here. Could that be kind of nice? Like a nice little simple miscellaneous four for whatever reason, just being right there, or a signature could be there too. I don't really know, but however, this is making me feel some type of way. This is making me feel right and like tingly inside. I will say I actually really, really, really like this. And the more I look at it, the more I'm like, yes, this is it. I think in my opinion, okay. I'm just gonna see really quick if I add in this little tire mark now, does it feel weird, right? With a nice little yellow kind of tone on the tire. I think this might be exactly what I'm looking for aesthetic wise, right? Also keeping it really fun and cool. Even if it was like a little poke out right there, I think that's a really smart like decision, I think in that case, like make this a little more farther out. I think right there, okay, yes, yes. I cannot lie, this is exactly what I was hopefully, this is what I was kind of considering in the beginning. I didn't know the color was my distraction. Sometimes you just gotta take the color away sometimes, I guess in this case. Um, the tires definitely helped me out. The, like the yellow in the tires as well is a perfect color to actually choose to kind of help out the canvas as well. Um, I do think there's one more thing I wanna do. And of course is on Envato Elements. I wanna find like a really cool grunge kind of texture that I can use and feel. Something like kind of like wrinkly and crinkly or like tears or whatnot. I'm looking for that. Like these are actually cool for sure. I'm definitely gonna download these for whatever reason. I just feel like I need them and I want them. And if I'm gonna use the program or use like the, the one month thing, I'm gonna download everything that I possibly can, right? Ooh, and I found these skid mark tire marks I'm gonna use and replace them with these over here. Cause I feel like I do need that grungy kind of feel that these do have. Um, on this side, so I'm gonna definitely use these. I don't know about you guys, but like if I turn this on and off for a second, you can see like it, it felt kind of fragile. Like these right here, these are kind of clutch. So I don't know, but like this is some real life use case stuff. I didn't even see it or even think about Googling it or, or how do you say searching for it, but it found out I found it on Vado, so I appreciate that and all that good stuff. Sounds super cringe, sounds scripted, but I promise you it's not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in finally the marble stuff though. However, now that I think about it, if I, if I got rid of it for a second, I do like it in the top right corner here, but I don't like it behind because I feel like it gets rid of like this really cool, clean, organic kind of feel right here. So I'm going to say no to that, but I do like this one right here, but I want to see if I can find a little more refined area now. See, that, that kind of feels a little more like subtle, nice and pretty, and I like how that looks. I guess all I really want now is like race flags, like the, like the checkered flag. Checkered flag. And ta-da. So I'm going to get this one right here. I want to actually get the angle that I see here. So I'm gonna take it, put it behind him like that. Take this one, put it behind him like this, right? Oh, okay, tell me, okay. Tell me I'm not getting somewhere. Tell me I'm right now I'm not getting somewhere. So I'm not gonna lie, I think it looks pretty good with some clarity and some texture. I love the little Lando up here. The top right looks really, really sick. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm considering the fact I wanna just say, yo, combine everything together. Smart object, this thing, go to filter, camera raw filter. Add in some little simple color corrections, like some more texture and some more clarity. Mess around with the colors a little bit, very, very slightly. And I feel like we got something really, really nice. Something like that, I feel like some 57 on that. Okay, and then just like that, friends, I'm not gonna lie, let me bring this up for a second. Um, I think this is done. I think I'm done. I feel like, honestly, in Vado Elements, I'm not even gonna lie to you, some elements in here that I even think about until later on. It made sense, it worked out, and I just realized that I, I got it all for like just one quick little, this is a plugin right here, a one quick little $33 a month, right? And I get these assets if you want to, get it one time for the month, and then download all the stuff that you think you'll need, and you might come back a little bit in the future, but you'll at least be set. So it's like a $30, $33 like, like shopping spree, right? I guess you would say for a month though. So I don't know, I don't know about you, but that's what I would do, I'm just saying like that. Um, okay, so, but let's say, throw up the before and after for you guys right here, right now, so that way you guys are looking at it. So now, I don't know if I really did too much the concept like taking in like of course taking his original idea but i do think it's really really dope i love the idea of his composition between like, like the car on the bottom him in the back and then i have another picture in the back as well that composition idea is what i have of course took on my own all that good stuff of course the 3d elements made it look super freaking dope so appreciate you guys uh, appreciate you guys and vato elements um and just it just looks really dope it looks really sexy it was one of those trust the process moments and i feel like we got a good spot and i want to move on to the next one so let's go and get to that right now and uh, yeah, just let me know how I did. I feel like I did a pretty good job, but you guys let me know and you'll be the critics and what all the mistakes that I did and all that good stuff. So let's move on to the next one right here right now.
All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hop into the second redesigning, which is designed by Villainous. It's a cool little optic scorecard, and I see a lot of scorecards in the actual redesigning stuff, so I was going to be like, hey, let's uh, just see what happens if I just kind of take the PSD and make it more towards something I feel like would be more cleaner concept, idea, and like an overall kind of information grab, hierarchy, all that good stuff. So realistically, there's nothing wrong per se with this design that I see here today, right? It's a really cool little design, um, or I guess like change the hue of, of course, from red to like a green, out of the optic logo to this cool little render, right? It has the logo in the background, the green wall, the, you get the versus information. All the other stuff is pretty like obscured. What's the word I'm looking for? It's just like the, the number one rule in design, I feel like, which is white space in my opinion. And uh, you see how like far off to the corner he has this kind of stuff. All this kind of information can easily be led right over here in the top, kind of like this bottom section right here, right? So I'm going to literally take the exact thing that he basically did, hopefully make it a little more towards something like what I would hope for if I were to get like, you know, if this guy was working for me, I'd be like, hey, this is what I think we should change, okay? So let's get this thing started right here, right now. Okay, first thing is first, I'm going to drag this baby inside here. Of course, make it a little more bigger, right? Because it kind of fills space, right? Right now, it's not filling too much space. I'm also going to need whatever this information is right here, right? And of course, the color green that he ended up using. Perfect. So first things first, of course, let's change the background and the nice green that he had. Or it's not the background. Oh, wait, should we take the background green? That could be kind of fun. Hi, Keith. I make the background green. And then we just kind of like, we're going to flirt with this for a second, okay? Like, I'm, I'm going to flirt with you for a second, okay? So I'm going to take this and make a nice little simple bar like he did, right? Realistically, the rule of thumb is you want to be able to put at least half or at least... I would I'd like to say the full logo above it, but this is not really the case. In this case, I'm going to make it a little more smaller, a little more bigger, excuse me, right? If I were to take this logo here, this box, if I can't make another box above it, it's not enough white space. That's kind of how my rule of thumb is, but then you make things too small, right? So you have to, of course, use your own like kind of knowledge and be like, is this too small? Right now for me, this is a little bit too big, okay? So I'm going to take this, lower this down to right about here right now given the fact of course this is the versus graphic you want to make sure that the actual versus things are where they kind of see and be but i think i'm gonna make two different things i'm gonna make a nice little sub bar text and a more graphical big like esports hey this is where we're facing text right i don't believe that this is actually black there's no way this is actually black right it is black huh okay so i'm gonna, of course add in over here the uh h SC Rain. Okay, okay, this is happening right now, by the way. I was watching this literally while I was playing this or uh, about to do this. Probably that's why I picked it. Um, okay, number two in NA. I think a number two in NA we don't gonna we don't want to really highlight. Okay, and we're just gonna do this right here. Uh, winners finals best of three. I think I'm gonna just do best of three. Oh, he's saying who it would have been in winners finals. This is more of like a graphic of like kind of saying, hey, this is winners finals best of three. I get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna say to myself, I want to make two different kind of fonts, font weights, right? So I'm gonna use this. Right, this is the name of the actual event. So I'm gonna take the name of the actual event. And I'm gonna say to myself, I'm gonna make this a really nice, clean, big boy font. I think something like this is pretty good. A little funk, right? I'll make this a little bit bigger now. Okay, we'll give it a little more texture, meaning just add some. Oh, I can't do it with this font. Let's say, let's just go with Stretch Sands. We're doing Stretch Sands type of day. Best of three. Then I'm gonna do winners, winners, final. Boom. Okay, now we have that over here as now as well, just like so. And I do think it could even even be over here. Let's actually move this entire thing and just say like ourselves, it's a little bit too awkward and like information, like why, why do I want to do that? So having, why, why do I want it to be hard for you guys to like move your eyes over here? And then like, it's kind of lazy. I feel, people are lazy, okay? So if I move my eyes over here to read this over thing, it's almost like a waste of time in my opinion. So I'm gonna move this together. That way they can read it as much as they need to, right? Boom, boom, winners, final, best of three. Boom, this is where they're playing, right? Feels a little more cleaner. Feels a little more easier to, to, to handle. So I'm going to quickly tie this together with just putting a nice little green bar here. Let's even go ahead and just say, yo, this green bar, it's going to be something else. We're going to make this, rotate this like that, just like so. It kind of feels like that. Then I'll say to myself, we'll just move this a little bit over, give this a little more space. That way it can command more space, a little more easier to digest. And now let's say to ourselves, okay, optic logo in the background. Let's do the same exact thing. I'm gonna take this optic logo. I'm gonna take this logo, okay? I'm gonna take the fill, lower it down for a second, and we're gonna add ourselves in with a nice, cool little, little pattern overlay, right? Now the white actually looks pretty cool and fun. However, that's not what I'm going for per se. I wanna make a cool, like, a little more thicker, right? And I can lower this down, give ourselves a nice, cool little pattern in the background there. Now this pattern in the background, we can also just group this together and make this white. But now I'm at the place where like, okay, so, so like it's cool and all, but it doesn't really make too much sense in, this, in, the, in the sentiment of 
the green is a little bit too overpowering. So I'm gonna say to myself, okay, let's not go with the green then here. Let's go with the let's go with the black, okay? Let's go with this being black, and instead for this being white, we'll do this cool little color here to be green. Let's see what that looks like, right? We flip our contrast. And I think right now that was a pretty good choice, in my opinion. Now I can even go a step further, okay? I can go a step further and say to myself, I don't want this to be that kind of tone. I'm gonna say to myself, let's make this gray. Nice little gray tone, okay? Just like so. I'm gonna make it a little more bigger, okay? Right, and then I'll make a nice copy of this. Boom, we'll make this sure this is the color of green. And I'm thinking we make this green one smaller, something like this, right? So that way the textures play with each other in that sense, right? We have the nice little flat green. Then we have the little logo right here with the little, uh, how do you say? color interacting just like that let's go ahead and say we want to keep the colors of the logo so i'm gonna say green on this side a little more smaller in this case i do want to add a little more color in here so i'm going to add a little more color it's just letting the logo kind of shine and sit on its own i want to say shine but just kind of sit in a different color i want it to be color or if not if we want to celebrate it too much we'll just say yo not not keep it blue let's go ahead and say to ourselves let's keep it white right that way there's actually no brand colors besides optics in this case right i'll say that's a pretty good look there right now you have the optic optic and then like a little uh you know c9 logo here to kind of play with the space a little bit more now i can get take a take it a step further okay i'm gonna say to myself i want to label these teams what if someone doesn't know who the heck any of these logos are i'm gonna say okay optic over here let's drag this below and for the record i am literally talking and doing this as i speak not i this is not pre i didn't pre-do this or whatever i'm just like going with the flow and uh, showing how easy it is because he had a concept already that I just wanted to make quote unquote better in this case, right? Or my my example, right? I'm gonna do cloud nine. We'll make this a little bit more gray. So that way it kind of sits like this. Would it be cool if I took the fill down, put a little bit of stroke on? Right, and I'm gonna go into this, okay? And take this and just make myself a nice little simple kind of like movement, right? There's no real motion in this, of course, design. And let's say to yourself, you don't have much motion. So make motion with like some really cool little things like strokes that you can follow these little kind of like colors and light going around things. That way it makes it feel like it's kind of like in motion, right? And uh, to be honest with you, right? Let me just say to myself real quick, what else little things can I do? I do think this little thing right here is a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna offset this a little bit, give a little more design feel, right? Something like this, I think is pretty good. I think this is actually it. This is a very quick and simple one, in my opinion, right? Because he already had a really good idea. I just want to fine tune it and just give it its own little space, command the space, and make that sure that that design and then back on those, like this big optic logo will celebrate it, right? So I'll just do the same exact thing, but just put multiple things on it, as you can see with mine. So with that being said, that is pretty much it for this one. Let me throw out the before and after for you guys really quickly. And as you guys can see, I just said what I just said, right? I just made sure that information bar on the bottom, you had a space being commanded, added all that kind of like subtext stuff. Like you had the uh, HSC ra rail, 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 oh no. Winners, finals, best of three stuff in there as well with the green wall hashtag. And we just added another hashtag in there. I don't know if it's real, but we just added another hashtag in there as well. And of course, make sure the background is, of course, only celebrated Optic Gaming. And even though we have another logo on there, was making sure we kind of like mute it in a way. So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed some really cool little redesigns that I did. And if you guys are looking for me to do a scoreboard one, I did it for you. We can do some more of those, by the way, esports stuff related stuff too. Um, it all depends on what you guys like and all that good stuff. So if you guys did like the video, please sure to leave a like on the video if you guys are new to the videos be sure to sob and all that good stuff and uh that's it for me i'm gonna go off to the gym and feel really good with myself and uh also for the record happy no not yet i'm gonna have a video before then regardless happy holidays and i hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful weekend and i'm flying off to my family on thursday so i'm gonna have another video for you guys on friday of course or excuse me sunday of course that following day so it's gonna be fun for me i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie i'm really excited for it and uh yeah i'm gonna leave you guys to it so hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys i love you guys so very much happy holidays once again peace and uh, enjoy yourselves later <laughs>